Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Avalon Advanced Materials CEO, Don, how are you? Great, good to be back, Tracy. Well, you are the go-to person I go to when I really want to know what's happening with rare earths, okay? You introduced them to me in 2008. So what's happening, Don, with the U.S.-Chinese trade war right now? How is that going to impact rare earths? Interest in rare earths continues to ramp up. There is real concern about security of supply of these critical materials outside of China. And with uh, the executive order that uh, Trump implemented this summer, there's now funding available for companies aspiring to participate in developing that supply chain in the United States. And uh, I was actually party to three applications to get our names in the loop on that including um, a new opportunity we're uh, looking at in the United States to see if we can help uh, build that new supply chain with a domestic resource south of the border. Okay, so let's go to the next obvious question. If you're interested in North American sustainability issues and where to get rare earths, obviously Avalon has a project with the Nachalacha in the Northwest Territories. Can you provide an update for us on that project? Yes, so we're moving ahead with the uh, a new partnership we formed with the Australian company Cheetah Resources, where they have taken ownership of one small part of the property with a resource that was well suited for developing at a very small scale and using ore sorting technology as a very low impact recovery technology to get something into production quickly make a concentrate that can be shipped and ex rare earths extracted to provide an, on another source of feed of rare earths to rapidly serve the need in markets outside China, particularly the uh, Linus operation in uh, Malaysia. So one thing I've noticed, Don, is when the investors out there in the market actually put two and two together and they watch the news and they go, okay, we've got to buy a stock in the rare risk market, the volume in Avalon Advanced Materials goes through the roof. Have you noticed that correlation? Well, yes. Uh, there was a classic example of that back in May when it first started making headlines with Xi Jinping's visit to the rare earth plant in South China. That immediately translated into huge trading volumes for Avalon. One, one day we traded over 30 million shares. So it shows that there's a, a lot of eyeballs on our, uh, on our stock and we're still well known in the US as a rare earth equity. Unfortunately, we didn't have any uh, company specific rare earth news to bring along behind that, but we're gonna change that before long. So we'll start to um, uh, be more appreciated again in the US as a real player in developing that rare earth supply chain. And for those of you shareholders out there who held on for all of 24 hours, it takes longer than a day to actually get a rare earth company to production. So speaking of projects, Avalon Advanced Materials is involved heavily in critical materials. You have two other projects. Can you give us an update on Kempville, for instance? Yeah, East Kempville is one that has been our best opportunity for getting something into production and cash flow relatively quickly because, as your listeners will recall, our model is to restart production on a closed mine site, taking advantage of previously mined resources that are sitting on surface creating a, a long-term environmental liability and processing them. Now we're planning to use uh, this new extraction technology, sensor-based ore sorting, and we've been working on uh, testing the material for to be able to use that. And the initial results are very encouraging that it's going to work just fine and create an opportunity to implement it quickly at a really low capital cost and start producing uh, tin concentrates. Uh, who knows, maybe within the next year or so. So, Don, knowing how understated you are, that sounds exceptionally exciting to me. Can you tell me what other uh, exciting things we should be looking forward to as shareholders of Avalon? Well, we're also a player in the uh, lithium game and uh, we still have that project in Northwestern Ontario we call Separation Rapids, where we've been getting a lot of interest in the uh, lithium mineral petalite for its unique applications in uh, especially glass and ceramic products. Demand for it's going up and we're one of the few potential uh, sources of that mineral in the world that can bring a, a significant new supply to meet the needs of the market out there. So that's coming along pretty nicely too. Well Don, as always, it's a pleasure to get an update on Avalon Advanced Materials. It's nice to see you. 
Thank you very much, Tracy.